these ships. Let's say for argument's sake that the Millennium Falcon is going to blow up. And I want my explosion to start at 125. I'm going to temporarily turn off auto key. I'm going to go up to rendering. Environment. I'm going to add a fire effect. And I would kind of have this menu open and leave it open. Now I'm going to go to my helpers, atmospheric apparatus, and get a sphere gizmo. Move this temporarily out of the way, and then you just kind of got to put your sphere gizmo where it looks like it's going to fit on top of your ship. It's just manipulating it to just manipulating it to get where it needs to go. Not as easy to do in the perspective view as it could be. Alright, double check this one last time. Let's say we want the explosion to encompass both ships, and so they're going to run together. We can scale that sphere gizmo up. Now we're going to have one big fireball. We're going to pick our gizmo here, which is our sphere gizmo. Scrolling down. Now we're going to do an explosion. Unclick smoke. Set up, we want it to occur from 125 and our end time to be 150. Click OK, you can play with the colors if you want to. You can also play with the different densities. Now I'm going to come down to my time configuration, set that to be 150. And then without rendering this, I'll give you a quick little render frame at one, say 130 to kind of show you what it's going to look like.